Inside the store is a brand new apartment in New York City selling for just over $2 million. This unit also comes with a beautiful roof deck with full city views. And there's another for $1.5 million, which is not exactly cheap, but we are going to learn how far this type of money goes in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn, New York City's most expensive neighborhood. Your neighbors have flower boxes, shutters, skylights, and like, look at this. It's like the perfect New York City street. And on the immediate street corner, you're going to see cafes and restaurants all over the place. And there's a snack shop. Best dumplings. Burroughs Best Dumplings. They do look pretty good. And this is the world's strangest dress shop, which has creepy paintings, stylish outfits, and it's next to a diner where you can also get something to eat. And there's a magic shop where you can learn how to make potions and slime, and maybe a few card tricks. Local bagels. Life-changing, you should try them. And there's Mr. Beat, the healthiest man in town. And we are super close to downtown Brooklyn. They say that location has a lot to do with the final price of anything you want to live in in New York City, and that's because after you're in, the things around it are really going to matter, and that's what you're life is going to be like. Hey, what's up? Hey, Cash, how's it going? Welcome to 85 Douglas. Come on in. Jessica's name is on the building, and that means she's in charge. I am in charge. <laughs> Jessica, you're the first realtor in New York to show me something that's exactly like the pictures. Well, wait. <laughs> How much is this? This is $2,150,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath. And how many units can we see today? So I have four units total. Two of them are on the market, but one of them is kind of a secret in the building because it's a unique layout on the ground floor. And I can show that to you if you want to see it. So is this part of another apartment? So it's a duplex apartment, so same floor plate as units two and three, which are the three bedrooms, but the only difference is instead of a third bedroom in the living room area, you have this tremendous lower level space. So this downstairs is connected to this apartment right here. Correct. This is the upstairs portion of unit one. This is the lower level, but with the nine foot ceilings, you'd never feel like you're in the cellar. And this gorgeous backyard, this is all private. We decided to go for faux grass in an effort to keep eco-friendliness and you know less water although there is a mulching area with plantings here and plantings over there these all in the front here are perennials and they'll come up every single year and each year they come up they'll grow up more beautiful and more colorful because the longer they're living the better they get so the longer you live in the apartment the better the apartment exactly it's like a fine line there's no way that's not 100 percent true <laughs> So when you said synthetic grass mm -hmm. at first, I was kind of like, oh no. But now that we're here and we look at it, I think that this is going to be very low maintenance. It's exactly. always going to look nice and you don't have any mess or any lawn to clean up with. Plus, if you look at a lot of New York lawns, like, uh, yeah, it doesn't look as nice as ours does. No, it doesn't. What's really beautiful about the synthetic grass, and I'm a very big um, criticizer of this because I used to play sports and the synthetic grass used to be terrible. It feels real. Even when you spread it apart, it looks like there could potentially be dirt underneath there. And between this garden, this little guy over here, and the trees, I'm guessing there's probably enough landscaping work here for most busy New Yorkers. You have much less area to upkeep, but if you have a green thumb or you like to grow vegetables or whatever you're fancy, you still have plenty of space to do it. What do you think this sells for? Um, it sells for about a little shy of 2.8. Okay. 2.8 2 million. But we've got two outdoor spaces and two floors. That's pretty extensive. Then you've got the patio plus the garden area. The living room here is awesome. We've got two really big windows facing the street. One of the reasons people love living on these particular blocks in Borham Hill and the Cobble Hill border are the treetops here. You have these low rise buildings and while you have access to beautiful sunny windows, you also have all of these really beautiful trees and flowers, which is just very nice and serene. The one thing I think is really important to talk about in this apartment is that while this works really well as an office or bedroom, it can also be a flex room because this wall comes down. It is non-load bearing, so if you knock this thing right down, and then you get another 10 feet added to your living room. Unlike a lot of New York apartments that are built for people who can't cook, I guess this is different. This is absolutely built for people who can cook. Our sales team recommended this cabinet because it provides massive utility for large cooking appliances. Five burners. It, it fully vents out here. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, wow. So if you like to cook, even if you burn some cookies, you're not going to have any problems. Miele. This Miele. is not, 
Melee? Melee. You can tell I don't have Melee. It's okay, it took me a while to get that one too. And then we have Liebherr, which is all custom paneled here, which is an excellent brand of fridge. We've got the two BioFresh draws. Little hidden spice Ooh. rack right next to the stove. Nice. I like the guest-friendly clear cabinets. The one thing that you want someone to find without having to ask you, you can put it in there. What's up there? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> something. I don't know what goes in there. Or if you like to bake, those flat little ah. pans, it's like the perfect place for them. It's also nice that there's enough room in here for an actual dining table. A spot to eat, a spot to hang out and entertain guests. Let's check out our multi-million dollar water. Oh man, this might be $3 million water pressure. And there's a sink sprayer. You've also got these lights underneath the cabinets. A little freezer so you don't have to jam everything all into one. Oh, that's door. nice. Get the otter pops down here, get the yeah. steaks up here. Over here, we've got ourselves a little coat closet. What's down here? Got a lovely- Ooh, nice. Washer dryer. See it's washer nice dryer. too. I, I, I don't know why, I just, aesthetically. Look, they got the little yellow trim, or is that orange actually? And these are not those Bosch units that everyone Marigold. else uses. It's Marigold. Marigold, that's the color. <laughs> This is the first bathroom in this apartment. Everything here has multiple baths. Herringbone, I mean, this is gorgeous. It's timeless and it weathers really well. Once you seal it, it's just, this will last for ever. Storage in here is also surprising. We've got this massive cabinet. That mirror is big. The tub is a nice size, big shower head, plus this light bar. There's something about it. Now this unit has a roof deck, but I don't see it. Where is it? It's not connected to the unit. You have to go two flights up. Oh wow, it's huge. You know Bruce Almighty when he tries to lasso around the moon and he pulls it closer to him? This is where they film that? This is where they film that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, the financial center. Even with all the smog, we can still see it pretty clearly. We got that weird tower from those Lord of the Rings movies. And down there, you can actually see the backyard of that lower level unit. Ooh, and there's a beautiful old church. Do you have the square footage of this? Unit B is 541 square feet of exterior space. Wow, that's great. So 50% of the unit's floor space is also out here for you to do whatever you want with. Look at like loops all the way around. You could have tons of furniture. The views are so cool too. There's something to look at in pretty much every direction. And look, there's no building here. And there's also no building on the other side. You're gonna have more privacy up here than on a lot of outdoor spaces just because no one has like a direct view of you. It's kind of like a little foyer area before you get to your roof deck. Okay. And this is the roof deck for unit B where we just were. How nice would this be? You just walk out here, you've got your whole outdoor setup with a little gazebo, some hammocks, some grills. There's water so you can have a garden. And there's power, you can charge your phone. And if this were connected to the unit, there's no way it would be this big. And that's because underneath this entire area, you have two of the bedrooms in that apartment. There's another roof deck over here as well. Just kidding, it goes forward. While you have the opposite view, I think it's just as equally beautiful with all the treetops. You've got additional church steeples to my left and to my right. And you have your kitchen, living, dining in the bathroom. Oh, this is cool. So this is where the bedrooms are in that other unit, but here it's the living space. Exactly. So generally you don't like your bedrooms on the street, but since we're on the top floor in the treetops, Bedrooms in the front make total sense for this floor. What does this one sell for? This one's asking one million eight hundred and fifty thousand. This is the living room in the unit with furniture, but here it's the primary bedroom. Bathroom looks similar, but it's got a standing shower. Take a quick look at the hallway bathroom. Kitchen has identical finishes. Now this unit also has a pretty impressive terrace attached to it. It's very long, kind of narrow, but there's enough width here for like chairs and tables. And this is like the perfect observation deck if you want to see the city. You could have everything you want. And it even comes with a friendly bumblebee. Look at him just hanging out, guarding the place. And since this is right off the kitchen. I was gonna say though, the kitchen is like right here. So if you wanna like grill food and like bring it out or bring it in, you can. So as we go back to the unit with the furniture, I'm noticing there's no elevator, but that's the case for most of what you'd buy around here anyways, right? elevator in a 25 foot wide building, so it really doesn't make sense to do so because it kills the living room. 
Isn't this nice? There's two bedrooms here in the back of the building. Both have views of the outdoor area. And this is the primary suite. Right now we've got a king size bed in here. I really used a bed that's about five to six inches longer than a normal king size bed to show the scale. So this is longer than a normal king. Absolutely, by about five or six inches. In a lot of New York apartments, you can't do this if there's a king size bed in the room. But here you can. I like these stealth uh, nightstands that have drawers that you don't actually know are there. The police will appreciate that when they come visit. Closet space in here is pretty good. We've got this, which is a traditional. So if somebody wanted to have like a custom closet build out or like a glam area, you could do so. But if you wanted to just stick like an armoire here where you don't have the custom build outs, you have the opportunity to do that as well. Also, what's pretty cool here, the windows only have one latch that you have to undo. As you can see, this is a very large window. It goes all the way up, but you only have one of the the, uh, little stoppers right there. It's not like an annoying one that's too tall to reach. Also, every room has heating and AC. Lights are on dimmers, which basically means that you can have it look however you want for whatever mood or setting you happen to find yourself in. Look at the size of these jets, man. That water's gonna be coming out in your ear and out the other, hopefully not. This is gonna be like a vacation to a rainforest with that thing. Different fancy tile in this primary bath. So you have Calicutta gold marble in this bath versus the Carrara herringbone in the secondary bath. Two sinks, this is absolutely fantastic with there's an outlet right here and we've also got two medicine cabinets with mirrors. Look at this drawer. This is like an entire storage room connected underneath your sink. Also the shower drain, it's right in the middle of the tub. That's how you know you've made it in New York City. <laughs> I cracked a joke someone likes. I don't know if you noticed in the tours, but there's vents above most of the doorways for proper ventilation. So if you smell bad, you probably won't in this apartment. You should probably improve your hygiene. Or get this room because it has one directly above it. So it's hard to compare this room to anything else, but this is very nice. And although it's technically the smaller of the two bedrooms, it's got two large windows. Is this a queen or a full? Queen. We use a queen and a king to show scale because having a full size bed in your secondary bedroom is no bueno. Closet space here is also fantastic. Got that light inside so you don't get lost. Plus the door is open fully so you can easily get from the bedroom over here to get stuff. It's a very usable room. Talk to Jessica if you wanna live anywhere, even if it's not just here. I sell a lot of real estate. See you in the next video.